Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to my stream. The day has finally come, chat. It is here. Uh, we got early access to Simrail. Uh, it's not a full game release. It's still in early access and, and there are still things that doesn't work, <laughs> sadly. Uh, but hey, it is here. Uh, everyone can gain access and the game will stay. Uh, so that is a good thing. The game will stay on your account because you have to pay for it. Uh, for, for some of you, it is a sad news. Uh, for some of you, it is a good news. Uh, the price isn't too bad. Uh, so that's that's one of the good things and and we get 10% discount uh, for the release so that's I, I think that's all right like I paid for it like 26 pounds so it's it's not too bad uh, the full game price is around 30 pounds or or your local equivalent so I heard in Poland it's around 130 zloty uh, I think I heard a, a news from someone from Russia, it's about a thousand rubles. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's it, it's somewhere within that price range. Uh, it's it's about thirty euros, thirty dollars, thirty pounds, or a little bit more in in countries with uh, a bit weaker currencies. Uh, so yeah, it's not so bad. The price is pretty all right, uh, providing that uh, Simrail offers you multiplayer. And there is a lot. Uh, I, I can tell you that uh, compared to uh, playtests, there is a lot of opportunities for drivers to jump into multiplayer and just play. Servers are absolutely massive. And we will look at it in just a second. Uh, obviously, when you first start the game, uh, your level will be set at zero. As you can see, mine is already uh, three. Uh, or perhaps you might not see it because I'm still in a small window. Uh, but uh, you have to finish the first tutorial, uh, any tutorial, uh, and I, I will show you single player menu uh, in just a second. Uh, but before you gain access to multiplayer, you have to finish at least one tutorial. Uh, editor is not active, unfortunately, and probably it will remain in that state until full game release, uh, or perhaps a little bit past that. Uh, depot. Apparently, it it is now colored. Uh, however, when I tried to click on it, it it didn't work. Uh, so I'm not sure if if developers plan to release the depot uh, right now or if it's still locked. Uh, for me, it doesn't work. Uh, multiplayer. Obviously, there's tons of ser well, there's a few servers, uh, but there's tons of uh, spaces on those servers. So uh, players will find a lot of opportunities to dispatch and a lot of opportunities to drive some trains uh, some stations are locked uh, for some reason probably uh, it requires a player to dispatch for a specific uh, amount of time uh, surprisingly benjin is is available from the get-go but uh, i believe sosnovitz was uh, unavailable and and it requires a few hours of, of dispatching experience before you can jump in uh, so I will try to look at it uh, in the future. Uh, probably today I won't be jumping into Dispatcher because hey, we would be sat in, in a single place for over an hour. And the game has a little bit more to offer than that. Uh, and yes, you can drive uh, ED250 Pendolino. So uh, let me jump into the game and, and uh, perhaps that's enough of my talking. Uh, let me just... Uh, 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 there we go. Okay, so now that you can see the game uh, in full screen, uh, I won't be digging into settings. Uh, they are exactly the same as they were in playtests, uh, so uh, nothing really has changed. Controls are exactly the same, graphics options remain the same, uh, sound settings, everything stayed the same. I believe they added a few things to simulation menu, uh, yes. Uh, you got automatic radio channels and simplified controls, uh, but I, I think that was added at some point during the playtest. Uh, so, uh, not really much changed. Uh, when it comes to single player, uh, still we got two routes. Uh, right now, full route of Katowice, Warszawa is available, so we can drive all the way from one end to another. 
which is really nice. However, there is one problem, chat. There are only three tutorials, but there are five different locomotives or units that you can drive in this game, which means that you have to discover how to drive ED250, which is Pendolino, and I believe uh, the other one is called uh, 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 EN76. No, uh, that was uh, 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 which one is that? Oh, okay, there are only only those. Uh, but there is also a dragon, and I can't remember its 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 name. Uh, ET25. There we go. Uh, so ET25 dragon, which you can drive on Katowice Sędziszów uh, route. Um, it is a long scenario, but you have to figure out how to turn this bad boy on and how to drive it, because there is no tutorial for it. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be fun. I will have to discover that uh, on my own. Uh, we can try and jump in to have a look at, uh, at those locomotives and units. Uh, however, don't expect uh, miracles from me. I, I, I have no clue how to start them to begin with. Uh, I might figure out something while while we go but hey it, it won't be perfect operations and, and probably there's going to be plenty of mistakes from my end uh, but hey we are here to learn isn't it that's why you play simulators and you can play them in single player uh, right so before we jump into any scenarios we may have a look at multiplayer isn't it uh, there are not too many players although few more are popping up uh, as, as people are completing the tutorial uh, one advice from me, after you complete the tutorial, restart the game so that you will gain access to multiplayer. Otherwise, the game won't catch the fact that, uh, that you completed a tutorial. Uh, so you have to give it a, a small bump and, and restart it. Uh, but as you can see, uh, there are plenty of services available. Uh, 50, 48, 47, 12 dispatch boxes. So that's plenty chat that is plenty uh, do root uh, EIP now and, and look at Warsaw uh, we can have a look how, how Warsaw uh, looks like uh, same dispatch boxes uh, so when it comes to dispatch boxes let's let's have a look uh, this is empty server so we should have all of them available uh, so we got Góra Wodowska, Knapówka, Włoszowa Północ, Olszamowice, Pilichowice, Opoczno Południe, uh, which is a new uh, station to, to dispatch, uh, Katowice Zawodzie, Sosnowiec Główny, Dąbrowa Górnicza, Będzin, Łazy and Zawiercie. So two new uh, dispatch boxes, which are Zawiercie and, uh, and, and, and Opoczno Południe. Uh, so not too many, everything else is the same, uh, but as you can see, you need three hours of uh, dispatching experience to jump into Sosnowiec Główny. You need six hours for Łazy and six hours for Zawiercie. I'm not sure what is the reason of blocking Łazy, but not blocking Benji. I, I, I can't figure that out. Uh, if, if they want you to, to be locked out of like a dispatching on, on more uh, more difficult stations, why not leave players with Olszamowice, Pilichowice, uh, perhaps Góra Włodowska? Those, those are quite easy dispatch boxes, you pretty much don't do anything. And then unlock further ones uh, as you go. Uh, although this might be changed in the future, it, it's still early access, so... Uh, you need one hour at Knapówka. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why would you need one hour for Knapówka. I, I, nothing, there's nothing happening in that station, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing to remember because like it, it, it was dead. Like, I, I tried Pilchowice once and, and I couldn't survive for an hour, honestly. It, it was like, oh, it, it was a pain. You, you literally got two main tracks. And, and two sidings that, that you can use to stop the trains, and that's it. Uh, so no mechanical switches. I'm afraid we don't have mechanical switches. Although I'm not sure what is available at Opoczno Południe. Uh, that is electrical devices. Okay, so I'm disappointed now. 
And I can't check Zawiercie, although uh, I believe this, it's the same as uh, as Benjin, which is electrical devices. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's very unfortunate. Uh, we don't have those mechanical signal boxes for some reason. And it would be nice to get them. Uh, it would really be nice to, to see them at one point. Uh, probably there will be some available when they unlock uh, this patching on, on that other route. Uh, which is Katowice Sanjishu. Uh, we might be able to see a little bit more of, of those mechanical signal boxes there. Uh, obviously most of uh, railway line 1 or, or, or uh, CMK will be electrical or electronic uh, because it's, it's modernized so I don't expect to find too many mechanical boxes there. Uh, but on Katowice Sanjishu, uh, that's, that's going to be a different story I believe. Um, but sadly, those are not available yet. And, and hopefully in the future, we will see some updates with those uh, signal boxes added into the game, which will only expand uh, the number of slots on the server, which I, I, I'm looking forward to. Uh, right, uh, when it comes to driving, uh, we got, uh, obviously we can drive Pendolino, but I have absolutely no clue how to start it. So I don't expect me to jump to multiplayer with this thing. Uh, Standard EU07 or EP07, depending on which train you are driving. Uh, what else? Uh, EN76. Uh, I'm not sure if we can find anything else. Uh, there's definitely. Uh, let me find cargo trains. Uh, from cargo trains, we got E186 and EU07, but I don't think they added. Dragon. Yeah, I, I think ET25 is not available in multiplayer. Yeah, I can't see it. Oh, there we go. We got one ET25. Uh, it's service 11, 30, 86. Uh, but this one will finish in about four minutes. So, not too many services with Dragon. If, if someone likes this locomotive or, or knows how to drive it, uh, there's really not too many services and, and chances to drive it. I, I'm not sure what kind of consist uh, this thing is pulling and which routes. Well, we are going on Katowice, Warszawa, so I, I don't expect miracles here. Right, chat. Perhaps it is time to hop in and, and drive some trains. Uh, I will begin from single player so that we can look at the new stuff. So ET25 and ED250. I won't complete full scenarios because <laughs> reasons. Uh, to, to give you some perspective why I don't want to complete full scenario is it is because ED250 will last for about three hours and 15 minutes. Uh, three hours for other direction. Uh, so yeah, that, that is a bit long for a single player scenario. And even I would have to find some time to, to finish it. And on top of that, uh, there's specific controls for, for that locomotive that I would need to learn. And I have no clue how to even start it. Uh, so we will leave that. Uh, or in fact, we can actually start from this one. Let's have a look at this chat. Uh, I won't complete it in full, but perhaps I might figure out how to turn it on. Uh, if there is anyone who, who knows how to drive this thing, uh, I I look forward to, to hear some advices and, and tips how to turn this bad boy on. Perhaps we can all learn. Today you will drive passenger train from Katowice to Warszawa Wschodnia. Begin with checking the radio connection with a dispatcher. Okay, so is, is this turned on? Uh, let me just jump into the cabin. Of course it's not turned on, oh the Lord. Uh, emergency brake, okay, spring brake, bypass, okay. Assistant spotlight, oh the Lord. There are so many buttons, chat! Too many. Pantograph back, okay, so we got pantographs. Uh, but I believe we need uh, uh I, I need to jump off okay why am i now on, on this side 
Uh, right. I believe there's gonna be a battery switch. And why do I feel it's gonna be outside? Is it similar to EN76? Is there any... Battery switch is inside. Okay, so let's jump inside. Uh, let's stand up. Come on, stand up. And uh, let's find a battery switch. Mirel. Uh, I don't even know how to. Disable SHP. Nope. Uh, disable EVC. Nope. Light mode. And uh, definitely. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so so we turned on the lights, even though they are not needed yet. Oh, okay. Found the battery. Is it on? It is. Okay, we got the battery, chat. Corridor lighting, yes. Uh, 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 bypass harmonic measurements. Okay, I, I don't know what am I doing. Uh, battery powered headlights disabled. Okay, fantastic. They are not on. Reset computer. Uh, hopefully, we won't have to. Um, pantograph back, definitely. That That's probably one of the first things that I will need to turn on anyway. Don't want to disable EVC and SHP. Uh, okay, I, I think we finished with that panel. Ooh, chat does so many buttons. Okay, uh, at least we know how to use the horn. Okay, that's sounding. That is roller blind. Nice, nice. So it's it's all automatic chat. It's all automatic. I, I think can I no I can't pull it so so it needs to be automatic. Control panel lightning, I can turn it on and off. And and there are some lights that, that are turning on. Uh we can turn them off for now. Driver spotlight, I, I don't even know how to controls test. Okay, we, we know everything is gonna put rest adjustment. Ooh, some fancy stuff. Uh, I, I have to say that the driver must be very comfortable in, in that seat. Washer. Okay, that, that works. And wipers. Ooh. And, and wipers are not working. Mode 2. Are you going to work? Lightbrick, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. And yeah, enjoy time spent downloading it. it, it it's a large file. <laughs> oh, okay. I got windscreen heating and, and that seems to work. Okay. Uh, cab lightning. Okay. Headlamp top. Lights far. Okay. So uh, lights near, signals light. Okay. I, I am not sure how this is working. Uh, but unfortunately, windscreen wipers don't work. I am now disappointed, chat. Wipers don't work. Uh, oh, okay. And, and, and that's not properly translated. Uh, that is... That is pretty much dimmer for... Uh, for panel lights. Not sure if it works or not. Uh, probably it will be more visible at night. Uh, I can open the doors. I can turn on... Okay. A couple cover. Okay. Uh, neutral section. Booster. Parking. Control circuits. Close main switch. Open main switch. Okay. Nope. Uh, 
Ah, okay. Okay, so n now I know why wipers weren't working. So uh, if I will just test wipers. Okay, th they have like weird modes. Oh, they locked that. That doesn't look really good. I, 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 I already hate those wipers. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so now, if I will, uh, I'm not sure if I should turn on control circuits first or or close main switch. Uh, but okay. That's radio stop, radio power switch. Oh, okay. So now it is turned on. I think we managed to turn it on. Uh, Lucina Dudek, yes, uh, this is ED250 and I'm trying to learn how to turn it on because there's no tutorial for it. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. Okay, control circuits and now we got this fancy panel and uh, that is really confusing. Direction control, forward, definitely. Uh, okay. Panel lights dimming. I, I don't know why this is not translated, but hey. Okay, couple cover. I think the vigilance button. Okay. So, service brake. Uh, running. Okay. Drive handle, direction control, okay, so we know cruise control, okay, so we got cruise control in here, but that's LZB, but we won't be using that in Poland. Uh, we can decouple the units, uh, but I, I don't think we want to do that. Okay, but I think we will have some buttons that should work here, and so I, I would like to know if... Okay, I don't think anything works on this panel, so it, it's like weird. Uh, I'm not sure how to... I'm not sure how to turn on or off ETCS and, and stuff. And, and that's... And that's probably something that I need to learn. Any other switches or cool buttons? Buttons. Uh, brake handle lock. Okay, well, I'm not sure how this works. Uh, so we got emergency air uh, air circulation. Okay, spring brake. Uh, we can disable that. Hopefully, it is disabled now. I think we are ready. Katowice to 4500, radio check. This is Katowice, I read you loud and clear. Maciejak! <laughs> that is a good question. I, 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 I don't know if I started my, my journey yet. Uh, I, I am about to start and, and it's, like, it, it's not going well today. It's not going well, I, I can tell you that. Okay, uh, so let's have a look if we can actually drive this bad boy. Okay, uh, now I know that I don't need uh, specific lights. Uh, 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 perhaps it would be... I know it's not safest way to do it, uh, but I need normal drive. Okay. You haven't seen that chat. For some reason, entry to, to the station or to Katowice, because I, I think we are near Katowice, is it? Yes, that is Katowice. It is French locomotive, so I expect everything to be backwards. Uh, yes, perhaps. Okay, where is the speedometer? Should, shouldn't that be in the middle? 
I, I, I can see some problems here. Can I somehow turn on this one? Force compression, I, I don't even know how this works. It is Italian. Okay, we can select different voltages, which is nice. But how do I start this computer and 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 like Perhaps move that speedometer to the middle, uh, that, that would be useful. Okay, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm braking now or not. I'm not sure if I'm even using the correct brakes, to be honest. Oh wow, brakes are really terrible in this thing. Okay, uh, now I believe we can do that. We are already seven minutes late, so you can imagine. <laughs> oh dear lord. Uh, this isn't well. Oh, okay. Sound is changing, actually. If if I open all. Forty-five zero zero, ready for departure. No way, so quickly. Okay, let's close the doors. You should read the manual. Uh, is there any? Uh, if there is any, I, I will probably read it, but obviously I just installed the game, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, don't expect miracles uh, today. Uh, okay, I, I am probably trying to go a little bit too fast. Uh, the question is, how do I turn this on? Booster. Parking. Orbit electrodynamic braking. Okay. That is interesting. So. Question is, how do I turn on this main panel? Uh, should work somehow, is it? Maybe press all the buttons around the screen. I, I, I don't think this will be a good idea, but... Yeah, there should be a speedometer in, in the middle, is it? Uh, okay, I, I'm gonna break this locomotive, probably. Uh, there is... I believe there was... Uh, 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 Brakes test, okay. I don't know what am I doing, chat. <laughs> but apparently I can still use vigilance devices. Uh, the problem is how do I turn this on? Oh dear lord. No, th there's nothing in here. I am too far from vehicle. What? What was that? Okay. Disable uh, no halt. Disable CIFA. Radio stop. Okay. Uh, 
battery corridor speed limit violation oh oh dear oh dear oh dear right enough is enough don't go any faster there we go go to the passenger section while you are driving <laughs> Yes, I know I can do that. Uh, okay, let's let's slow down. The problem is I don't know how fast am I driving because that middle panel doesn't work and I don't know how to turn it on. Booster? No, booster definitely. Oh dear lord, uh, I, I turned it in the wrong direction. Oh, this... this doesn't work. Uh, control panel lighting? No. Nope. Sounding, controls test. Okay, that, that works. Windscreen heating. Wait, did, did that just turned off? I think I broke it, chat. Uh, yeah, alert is flashing somewhere here, uh, I, I believe, yeah. Uh, there's SHB and, and stuff. Uh, but I think I, I broke this locomotive. <laughs> Close main switch. I, I, okay, cabin activation. No, now I deactivate it. Now I... Not sounding warning signal. Okay, I, I'm gonna get plenty of penalties for this. Uh, yeah, definitely I need to look into uh, some proper tutorial for that. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, click from F1 to F6. Uh, but I want to learn how to use the locomotive display, not, uh, not in-game UI. Uh, I know that in-game UI will tell me how fast am I driving, but... I can activate this panel and, and see the same information and that's what I can, well, that's what I want to find out. Uh, oh, okay, so that is something I can turn on for neutral sections, that is really useful. That is parking brake and I probably broke it. Exactly, I am breaking the locomotive, so... So you won't have to. I will press some buttons and hopefully that will... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I can actually switch this thing for speed. So now I know how fast am I driving. But why isn't that displayed on the middle panel? Oh, the Lord. Hmm. Uh, Bolt, hello, welcome! <laughs> uh, yes, I'm already breaking the game, believe it or not, I'm trying to figure out how to drive ED250 without any tutorial, and that is surprisingly difficult, uh, if the game doesn't really tell you anything. Oh, okay, I, I can switch through the screens, I, now I know how to do it, uh, but I, I can't enable this one. Oh. Wait. Can I turn it on? Can you just turn on? Oh, the passengers in this train must be really scary right now. Or scared. Okay, th this one still doesn't work. The lighting poles? Oh, okay, that, that's that's not doing anything. And uh, that's USB. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, that should be, but it, it doesn't work. Oh, don't tell me they, they programmed it so that the panel doesn't work. But I think I've seen some screenshots where someone had a speedometer here and, and then rest of the controls here, and, and that would be perfect. Oh, dear lord, dear lord, dear lord. Okay, now I know that I, I shouldn't be touching this one, so at, at least... 
Uh, <laughs> Glide brake, uh, you will learn, you will learn at some point. Uh, it's not that hard. Okay, that's the coupler. You know what, chat? I, I am about to to give up on ED250 for today. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to look to some manuals to, to find out how to drive this thing. Uh, but yeah, ED250 is definitely a nice toy to, to have in your arsenal. And obviously, you can have this nice and cool outside view while rushing at, at 250 kilometers per hour. Uh, obviously, my speed is currently not, not good enough. <laughs> right, uh, so that was ED250. Uh, I will come back to this uh, vehicle when I learn how to drive it and, and definitely I will showcase it for you uh, properly. Let's return to main menu and let's look at ET25, was it? Okay, main menu. Right. Train driver. Now we are going to Katowice Sandyshoof. And that is the only route that will feature ET25. Was it? Yeah, ET25. Dragon. Yes. So let's have a look at it. Uh, again, both new locomotives uh, or both new units added to, to the game uh, with, with this update and, and with release of early access don't have tutorials. Uh, so perhaps there is some documentation with the game, but hey. We'll check it out. Lubia uh, Katisi. No, uh, there is no EN57 on, I'm afraid. But there is Dragon. There we go, ET25. Nicely modeled. With some coal hoppers. The only thing I dislike about Simrail is that all deliveries look so clean. I, I would like to see like uh, dirt on, on those locomotives and stuff. Uh, because yeah, right now it looks like they are fresh from the factory and, and it's it's so clean it's 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 disturbing. <laughs> uh, right, I, I believe the battery will be inside. Let's let's just make sure. Oh yes, uh, like uh, ET25 and ED250 have like two and a half, three hour long scenarios. So there's plenty, plenty of time uh, for you to, to play with those locomotives. And that is single player chat. I, I, I still haven't entered uh, multiplayer. Uh, right, let's close the door. Okay, uh, so the battery should be probably... Oh, can turn on engine. Activate spring brake. Test fire alarm, reset fire alarm. Okay, uh, release spring brake. Uh, probably that's not something we want to do. Uh, where is the battery? That is high low tone. Okay, uh, ETCS. Oh, okay, so this thing has ETCS. That's nice. Uh, washer, wipers, cabin activation. But uh, I, I need I need the battery first. Uh, can we open that? No, no. Chat, the battery might be outside. Yeah, that's engine room. Transition to the other cabin. Oh, okay, so that is... That is the way to change the cabins. Unfortunately, there is no engine room uh, in, in this one. Uh, but nice thing about Dragon is that it is diesel-electric locomotive, so you have diesel engine in here that you can activate. Uh, but I, I need to figure out how to activate the battery. If anyone knows where's the button. Horn, OK. 
Okay, brake assimilation now. Uh, I think the battery will be outside. So, exit through the door. Let's have a look. Uh, that's where the sound should be. So normally the driver would inspect the sander and, and he would check the sound level. Uh, but where's the battery? And it's another sander, sanders, okay. Uh, we have battery switch somewhere. Doesn't look like it's here. Oh dear lord. Maybe on the other side? Okay, we can operate the couplers. Nope. Doesn't seem like there is a battery switch outside. Uh, Okay, let's get back to the cabin. Uh, perhaps I can stand up. Okay, let's let's use the shortcut button. I'm not sure if, if that works. Uh, can I just try and activate the cap? Yes, I, I can actually try and do that. Uh, so, cabin activation. Okay, so that is the battery as well. Uh, okay, so I, I've been running around like a like an idiot, and, and all I had to do is to just switch one button. Right. So uh, raise the pantograph and, 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 and enable radio. Okay, now, uh, 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 as always, uh, PC1, normal drive. Okay, I don't expect to do any shunting. Uh, okay, close main switch. And according to this indication, main switch is now closed. And it's turning on. We still got spring brake engaged. Brake assimilation. Uh, probably not. Not something that I wanted. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, we are going forwards. Uh, control panel lightning. Control lightning. Um, nah, near lights, okay. Again, uh, poorly translated. Uh, that should be panel lights dimmer. And brake releaser, okay, that's sunder, perfect. Vigilance button, and there should be a spring brake somewhere. TCS. Uh, control panel lightning. Okay. Not sure if the washer is working. Probably it's working only when you have. Ah, yes. The so washer is working only when you have wipers on. go uh, right where is the spring break uh, uh, activate spring break no uh, release spring break there we go I think we are ready chat ET25 seems to be much much easier okay so let's contact with the dispatcher Press control 
Kruszuk 24501 jest gotowy do drogi. Dziękuję, podaję tu Yes, indeed, we have a signal. Now. Let's see if we can drive. Doesn't seem like we can. I think I need to release the brakes. Uh, but for some reason... It is not... Releasing. Maintain brake force. Okay, yes. Back neutral. Forwards. Spring brake is released. Although it is still showing on the panel that it might be... Hmm. I see. So now the brakes are released. Or at least in theory they should. There we go. Might take a while. But we are moving, chat. We are moving, finally. <laughs> So that is Sanjishov and we are heading to... I, I don't know where... Uh, Stashitz. Okay. So that's pretty much full route. Uh, yay for the movement. <laughs> Benny Woods, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Welcome, welcome. I hope you will enjoy. Okay, as always we are late. Uh, that's gonna be very common theme for today's stream. Mike Paus, thank you very much for follow. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> glad to see you. I'm I'm really glad to see you here. Okay, we can now let it coast for a while. Okay, so, uh, the Dragon seems to be much easier to, to drive, which I really like. And definitely I'm, I'm gonna try and spend some more time with this locomotive. Uh, because I really, really like it. Okay, let's give it some more power. Hopefully it's in multiplayer. Um, that's the thing. I, I've seen only one service with this locomotive in multiplayer. So developers definitely didn't add too many of them. Although it might be because other players already took them. Uh, I, I didn't really pay attention if, if the server was full or if there were any players when, when I checked it last time. Okay, nice, nice.
I like this horn. I, I really like this horn. Uh, right, question is... Okay, so the cabin is not exactly... Okay, it is isolating some of the sounds. Uh, when you open the window, you can hear like a outside sound uh, of, of like bugs and, and stuff. Oh, uh, but that's it. Uh, that's pretty much any addition that that you will get with with the sounds. So if I will close it, you won't hear that background noise from from bugs and, and stuff. A bit disappointing. Uh, oh, oh dear lord. Uh, Okay, I, I am using dynamic brake to slow down freight train. That 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 is not going to end well, is it? Yeah, my my driving technique today is terrible. Uh, I I will definitely have to improve that in the future. But to my defense, I am too distracted. Uh, playing with with all the various features of, of this locomotive on the load. Ah yes, I, I I missed this speed limit violation. Oh dear lord, why is that? Oh, okay, so that might have been automatic uh, crossing, and yes, it, it is now limiting me to twenty. Is it? Oh dear lord, okay. Let's use normal brakes. Yeah, I, I, I need to slow down to 20, is it? Let's release the brakes. And let's keep the speed at 20. Okay, there is definitely some practice that I need to take with this locomotive. But it looks beautiful. I really like it. Nice. <laughs> Back to the cabin. And I believe we can now speed up again to like normal speed, perhaps. Really nice chat, uh, definitely worth trying and, and there are a few other features in this locomotive that we might want to try later on. Uh, I believe you can turn on uh, diesel engines, uh, but I can't remember how to do it. Uh, I've seen a video of someone doing it, but I can't remember where. And, and there is definitely an option to turn on like a uh, diesel engines. And on top of that, we got this massive bug in the middle of our windshield. Uh, let me just see if perhaps that will help. Okay, so we got 
this thing and I have washer. Come on, wash these bugs. Almost. Oh dear Lord. Not sounding a warning signal. There you go, that's your warning signal. Oh, it's so disturbing to have these dead bugs in the middle of the windscreen. Come on! Speed limit violation, of course, because there's 20 at, at this crossing. The barriers were not closed. And there's another one. Which is not closed. Again. So we're gonna get punished for speed limit violation. Although it's not entirely correct, uh, because speed limit on crossings applies only until locomotive goes through it. So I should be punished for that short section of the crossing itself. And that's it. Uh, stay there. Uh, there is a new stuff. Uh, the locomotive that I'm driving currently, uh, which is ET25, is a brand new addition to the game compared to the playtest. Uh, you also gain access to ED250. Oh, we will have to slow down to 80, and we are currently doing 80. Okay. Uh, so there are two new uh, units that you need to learn how to drive, uh, obviously. That's why I'm driving so bad today. It's mostly because I don't know how to drive the thing that I'm driving at the moment. Uh, what about multiplayer? Is the map bigger? Yes, it is. So first of all, you got access to both maps. So we got full route uh, from Katowice to Sanjishov and a full route from Katowice to Warsaw with the latter being longer uh, and and featuring high-speed trains while Katowice Sanjishov is mostly for freight trains uh, so you will see some passenger traffic here uh, but it's mostly gonna be freight trains Oh, there we go, and, and there is a speed limit, which was probably 80. Now we are approaching speed limit of 40. Perhaps it would be wise to start at least slowing down. I'm not sure if using dynamic brake or electrodynamic brake is going to help me much. But I should be alright. Okay, okay. Looks like this locomotive is strong enough to slow down the, uh, the entire train, which is nice. Uh, there's definitely some practice that, uh, that you need to make uh, while driving this thing. Okay, let's play a little bit more with those wipers. Okay, we managed to wash that nasty bug. go a bit faster that is definitely very interesting route and I, I look forward to explore it in full uh, at one point obviously I really won't be able to do it today because there's just too many new things uh, obviously this locomotive being one of them Okay, so, uh, 40, and we will have to wait on the red light. Ooh, that's, that is really not nice. Zgłoszenie. 
poruszam się. Do tunelu po to, że lewy. Ok, so we are switching to the left track. I'm not sure if I switch the signal too soon. Probably yes, uh, because did I pass the semaphore? I uh, can't remember. Probably not. Although from what I can see, we are already going onto a left track. So yeah, sounds good to me. Wonderful. I already like it, chat. I already like it, even though I don't really know what I'm doing in, in this locomotive specifically. I really can't wait to explore this entire route. Uh, it, it really looks nice. I, I, I really like this route, especially this one, even though it's shorter one. Driving those freight trains, I think it will be more fun, honestly. There are so many speed limits. Uh, and restrictions that this route should definitely be a nice challenge for anyone who wants to try himself with freight trains. There we go, speed limit of 60 with yeah W24 marker. So technically that is the point where we should switch the lights to left track uh, driving so I switched too early and we can go all the way to 60 there we go Lovely. I'm not sure if it's Dragon 2 or 1, uh, it is ET25, so I, I, I'm not really familiar with that locomotive to, to this extent to tell you the difference, to be honest. Nevertheless, uh, I really like how the pantograph works with the catenary. It actually raises and lowers, which is nice. Kimitsu, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. And yes, go on with your question.
What do I think about the price? Uh, I, I think it's very fair compared to what you would get from Dovetail. I, I think Simrail is for sold for a fair price, especially right now uh, when it gets 10% discount for release. Uh, I, I don't think $30 for early access for this game is too much, uh, especially that you get access to multiplayer which gives you almost endless possibilities uh, of what can happen on the route. Uh, you obviously get access to dispatcher mode, uh, which is completely new feature for train simulators, uh, except if you are playing run 8, but even in run 8, it's not as exciting to dispatch the trains as, as it would be in, in Simrail, at least on some stations. Uh, when you are passing crossing you get minus 20 so every now and then there are signs that will inform you that you are approaching the crossing uh, unfortunately I can't show you that right now because uh, we are not close to any of them and on top of that yeah uh, on top of that, some of the crossings are speed limited to, to 20, that's why I was getting penalties right now. Uh, because this crossing wasn't closed properly and, and I just ran through it at, at like full speed. As much as you can call it full speed. Uh, but you need to sound a horn at the right moment. Uh, that, that is the way to, to prevent this. Uh, so when I will be passing a correct sign, uh, I will tell you which sign it is and, and which sign you need to look for. Uh, I'm afraid there is no way to skip the tutorial part, so you have to go through the tutorial. Kimitsu, thank you very much for following me. There we go, now we are in the tunnel. I wonder, oh, okay. External camera inside the tunnel doesn't look so good. Uh, I, I think developers should disable that uh, just for... Are there a lot of stretches of a single track? Uh, I don't know, uh, because I don't really know the Katowice Sędziszów route. Uh, so far most of the route is double tracked so it doesn't look like there are many single track sections driving through checkpoint late okay right perhaps i need to start slowing down Not sounding a warning signal, yes, that, that was my fault. Uh, you must complete any tutorial from what I uh, understand, so... I think the shortest one is for EN76 and, and that's, uh, that's the tutorial I would recommend to, to finish. Okay, I am approaching red signal and hopefully I will stop on time. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind, I can see that the signal changed. I definitely need to start observing the signals a little bit more carefully. I, I get penalties every now and then, so... Uh, there's definitely... 
a lot of things to improve in my driving technique today. <laughs> there we go, that is 40. And I'm going back onto correct track, so I need to switch my lights uh, to that normal drive. In this stage, train driver still does a better job. Uh, yes, there are some things that train driver does better. Uh, when it comes to like performance and, and graphics, uh, it feels like train driver 2 still looks a little bit better. Uh, but there is a reason for that. Uh, in train driver 2, you get a large number of small maps, or relatively small maps. While in here, the game pretty much dynamically loads entire map. Uh, so, that's why you get a little bit worse graphics in, in SimRail. Uh, Kimitsu, is this multiplayer? Currently, I am not playing in multiplayer, but the game has multiplayer, yes, uh, indeed. I mean, yes, that's, that's one of the things that... Uh, this game does better than than Train Driver, uh, but it gives you some basic tutorials. Uh, although you still need to learn traffic rules, and I'm not sure about game's documentation because I never looked into it. Uh, if it actually has proper tutorials about uh, traffic rules, uh, signals, signs, and all that stuff that you need to to drive the trains properly. Oh, there we go, we are approaching 40, that's one of the speed limit restrictions that I actually noticed. So perhaps it would be wise to slow down. Uh, well, this patching isn't that exactly similar. Uh, but it has some similarities. Uh, if you check out some of the videos from playtest uh, you will see how how this patching goes so oh, i'm still going too fast for this route oh wow i think i must be going downhill that's why i'm not really slowing down quick enough Okay, and that's the sign that you are looking for when you are approaching a railway crossing. Uh, so you are looking at that triangular sign with uh, with a car icon in it. There might be one and, or there might be two. Both of them means pretty much the same. Uh, the difference is... Uh, the sign with only one informs you that uh, uh, crossing is not connected to uh, station control devices, if I remember correctly. Or is it for the other one? Uh, so one of them is controlled from, from like a dispatch box, the other one isn't. And, and that's the only difference. Okay, and, and I am going a little bit too quick. Yeah, we are definitely going downhill here.
I wonder, I think, oh, okay, there is a cruise control, so probably if I would turn it on, uh, that would help me drive a little bit better, but hey. There we go. So now I can operate the train using cruise control only. And it will try and control the speed. And of course I, I missed warning signal. And of course I was supposed to travel at 20. Oh chat, there is a lot of things to learn about this route for me. Yes indeed, uh, this route is much slower than the other one. So... It's definitely going to be very interesting experience to drive in here. And on top of that, you really need to learn the routes. Uh, so as you can see, uh, many of those crossings have those crazy speed limits. And you need to learn them. Otherwise, you will catch plenty of penalties, as, as I am doing right now. Oh, and I... Ooh, that's interesting, chat. For a few moments I was actually will sleeping. Oh dear lord. So cruise control is not the best thing to oh. No oh oh dear lord. Okay, you don't want to operate cruise control using uh keyboard shortcuts because it jumps from zero to, to maximum which is not the best. Although you can decrease the sensitivity and, and that would probably help. Not sounding a warning signal. Okay, yeah, uh, because I, I was too busy playing with cruise control. If now I can turn it off. And again, speed limit violation. Yeah, chat, I, I definitely need to practice that. But today is not all about driving perfectly. It's all about enjoying the route. And perfecting it is something that I will be doing later. Okay, we got another speed limit violation. Oh, the lord, the lord, the lord. <laughs> yeah, the cruise control is very sensitive in Dragon, so you need to work with... Uh, uh, with drive handle as well. So, if you slam the drive handle all the way to 100, for example, if I would set cruise control, right now when driver handle is at zero, the locomotive is not really super responsive. But if I would slam this all the way to 100, just look how much power the locomotive is trying to use to react to speeding and such. Uh, so same will go if I have to speed up, as you can see, it instantly tries to slam the full power. So you have to regulate the drive handle before adjusting cruise control otherwise it won't work as smooth as it would work in uh, E186 I believe uh, which 
which operates with, with the power slightly different. Anyway, chat. Let's go to the main menu. Because uh, there is no reason to continue this scenario. It's gonna last for another two hours. Uh, so you can try it yourself and and learn how to drive Dragon and try and drive this route correctly. Uh, we still spent 44 minutes and we traveled only 23 kilometers. Uh, I gained the entire 15 experience because I'm so bad at driving. Uh, and, and yeah, I, I constantly commit violations today. So as you can see, it's all red. Uh, there is a lot of practice that I need to do, uh, especially when it comes to driving this particular unit. Uh, so that is one thing I will be doing uh, later on. Okay, so we are back in main menu. So chat, what I'm gonna do right now, I will take a very quick break and then we will hop into multiplayer and let's have a look at some proper trains. Uh, perhaps we will be able to see uh, Warsaw, which is something that I look forward to. So yeah, I'll catch you in five minutes. All right, all right, all right, I am back uh, a little bit sooner than I expected, but hey, it's it's good to be back. Uh, right, uh, Glidebrick, uh, you have to finish the whole scenario. Uh, it's not much longer if you are doing uh, EN76 scenario, uh, which is the shortest one. It, it literally lasts for about half an hour. Uh, so... You are currently at Dombrova Gurnitra and you have to get all the way to Benjin. So you got three more stops to do. Right, chat. Let's hop into multiplayer, shall we? The question is, where should I join? Uh, let's go to English server. Obviously, there's already seven out of 12 dispatch boxes taken so i won't be dispatching uh, but there are only three trains uh, so let's have a look at some driving experience uh, i would like to drive some ec three hours let's do it i won't be driving entire route uh, but we should be somewhere close to warsaw and that is the train going from Warsaw towards Katowice. It's 
So I'm hoping that this is the one that will be now approaching uh, Warsaw or, or somewhere in that vicinity. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So the train is going from Grodzis Mazowiecki uh, to Korytów. Okay, so so we have uh, well, we are way past Warsaw, unfortunately. Uh, right. Uh, so uh, let's disable the autopilot. And uh, that's going to be rapid. Uh, and I need this. Perfect. Over lightning, uh, legs heating, cab lighting, dim it, uh, dimming, okay. I think we are good. Uh, okay. Perfect. Ah, that's much better, chat. Driving EU07 or EP07 feels much more natural for me. <laughs> and that is Radio 2, if I noticed correctly. Okay, so we still got the bug. With all these uh, button prompts uh, turning off. Driving with the wrong radio. I Seriously, was it Radio 1? I, I'm quite sure that it was supposed to be Radio 2. Oh well. Right, let's have a look at delivery. Uh, is it... Okay, standard green one. Nothing has changed, so we don't have uh, PKP Intercity. Correct channels, and, and it doesn't list the correct channels. So, which one is it? Channel 3? I, I will find which one is it in a hard way. It was R1, so... That's also something that I've seen, uh, but I was on Radio 2, it, it says it's wrong. I'm on Radio 1, and it's gonna probably tell me off for, for having the wrong channel. There we go. Driving with the wrong channel. Uh, so, Radio Channel 2, perhaps we could... Well, they still need to work on that. And that's why the game is in early access. There will be some bugs, especially on, on this part of the route. Uh, because... Yeah, there we go. Uh, that is not correct radio channel. Uh, channel 3, perhaps? Uh, maybe the game will give me some chances to, to succeed. Also, we are getting into night time, so this is going to be very interesting. Of course, it's not correct radio channel. Uh, does it have free camera? I'm afraid it doesn't have free camera. So the best you can get is this camera number two, which is attached to, to the vehicle, or to, to the locomotive in that case. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, there's camera number three where you jump off the locomotive. Uh, obviously, I got the wrong channel. Uh, you got these cinematic cameras, uh, or cameras inside the vehicles. You can switch through them. Uh, you got camera at, at the very end of the last wagon for some reason. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, those those radio channels are, are really disturbing. Uh, let's try channel 5. Perhaps that will work. Of course not. Uh, channel 6. Uh, 
Uh, there is a reason why they won't do that. Uh, so, it's all about uh, rendering methods. So, in order to properly render uh, the game, you need to be close to the locomotive because that is the trigger uh, for uh, for the game to render new part of, of the map when you are approaching it. Because obviously the game doesn't load entire 350 kilometer route. Uh, so, since the locomotive is the trigger, if you would go too far away as a player uh, from your locomotive, uh, then the map would have to be unloaded uh, from from the memory of of, uh, of your computer and, and stuff uh, and therefore it would just look bad uh, so that's why developers decided to like lock the camera and lock player uh, to, to the vehicle so you can't really walk too far away from uh, from your vehicle or from your dispatch box it's because of the rendering engine and how it works and how it triggers rendering objects and, and map elements. Uh, right, I, I still don't know how to how to deal with that radio. Yeah, so we will have to take the penalties for that because obviously radio channels are not correct uh, anywhere on the route and th there's nothing I can do I'm sure this will be fixed in upcoming updates oh there we go there's there was another radio change uh, signal and obviously I'm, I'm still driving with the wrong one uh, which one I got I see, I see. Well, anyway, uh, the player movement is still locked to, to the vehicle, so even if the train can be outside of loaded style, uh, the player can't be. Well, who knows, uh, maybe at some point it will be fixed. Or changed. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I hope the stream isn't lagging too much. Uh, I, I can see that OBS is struggling a little bit. In fact, what I can do... can't turn it off. All smooth. Okay, perfect, perfect.
good to know that the game works smooth uh, because it it doesn't look like like it is on my end and well the game looks smooth uh, but like uh, OBS is is not working so smooth and and I was afraid that it might not be sending the picture uh, at at correct rate but it's good to know that it works for you guys. Okay, I'm still with the wrong channel. Okay, I will stay on channel two. There, there's not much I can do. Uh, even the game, uh, the game doesn't really know which channel am I supposed to be on. So uh, there's literally nothing I can do about it. ZFX, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. I'm doing great. And how are you? I'm afraid bigger stations are not available. Uh, the biggest station that I've seen for dispatchers to operate was Zawiercie. Well, Zawiercie is quite large, so that should be fun, uh, but you need some experience before you can jump in there. Ah, there we go. As soon as I managed to slow down to reasonable speed, uh, this patcher gave me green signal. Oh dear lord. We will get so many penalties before before I get to like a I don't know, probably Opochno uh, where we should get like a proper radio channel. And I am still ahead of time, oh dear lord. Well, they are probably big enough. Uh, I hope so. I really had fun on Benjin, for example, and and that wasn't the biggest station. It's it's rather small, and and Benjin is probably one of the best stations to to dispatch in in Simrail. Uh, obviously, I think the best one is currently Sosnowiec Główny, uh, where you actually have to sends trains onto different rail routes. Well, Katowice Zawodzie is not as fun, uh, but yeah, I, I really had fun on Sosnowiec and on Benjin. Uh, those two are, are really nice. Uh, Wazy... Wazy are alright, but you, you mostly do straight shots in there. Uh, there are just a few trains that you really have to dispatch or, or send over the different routes. Unless it's changed with, with the update. Uh, but yeah, in, in playtests it, it was rather boring, uh, at least for me.
Well, thank you very much. There we go, that's where ETCS starts uh, and, and probably in this area uh, we would be able to travel at very high speed with uh, uh, with ED250. Uh, Lucina, uh, I am driving EP07 at the moment. So, the classic one, the classic one. <laughs> And it's my definite favorite. Uh, do I think this game is worth 35 euros? Uh, absolutely yes. If you have good enough equipment to run it, because it definitely requires some, some nice resources uh, on your end to, to run smoothly. Uh, the game looks amazing. It runs amazing. And it gives so much fun that it's it's really hard to describe. And on top of that, you got multiplayer. Uh, you can become a dispatcher. There's plenty things uh, to discover. It has that massive long route. Uh, it has one shorter route uh, to to add to that. So yes, uh, there's definitely plenty of content for 35 euros. Uh, you won't get as much from Dovetail. I can guarantee you that. Uh, the only thing that you won't find in Simrail that you can find in Dovetail's products like Train Sim World and, and stuff is routes from different countries than Poland. Uh, it's right now, yeah, uh, Simrail is only limited to Poland at the moment. Uh, so that's probably the only factor that, uh, that would give some edge to uh, Train Sim World and, and train simulator it's it's the amount of content available if you buy all the dlcs but similar doesn't have that just yet uh, but it already has plenty of content for 35 euros uh, i am aware that i'm driving on the wrong radio channel uh, the problem is that even the game doesn't know which radio channel i'm supposed to be i tried channels from one to six and and I wasn't able to find one that, that actually works. Even the game doesn't list the channel that I, I'm supposed to be on. Uh, so I just left it at channel 2. Which should trigger somewhere around Opochno. Which we are approaching pretty quickly. I haven't seen any indication on that semaphore, which is not a good sign. And what is that? Well, that was weird. There are definitely some bugs in here.
Okay, let's slow down and let's have a look what's on this semaphore. The previous one was empty. And for some reason the game didn't even stop me. And that's, that's disturbing. There is info and looks like tutorial for dispatching. Seriously, I, I haven't seen that to be honest. Okay. Now I can see that there is a green light on this one. Uh, the Warsaw is already available, uh, but not for dispatching. You can drive in there as a driver. I don't think they are planning to release Katowice and Warsaw as uh, stations that you can dispatch on. Oh, I see. There is an icon. Hmm. Is that in the menu? I, I believe it will be somewhere in the menu. Ah, I see. Upper left corner under the nickname. Uh, so if I would... Ah, okay. Uh, that won't work right now, uh, so it's definitely in the menu. Ah, I see. Only for the dispatcher. Okay, that sounds fair. Sounds fair. Well, to be honest, uh, if, if you start uh, a dispatch box like Pilichowice or uh, Knapówka or whatever that, that was, uh, or, yeah, w one of those, uh, you don't really have much to dispatch in there. There's like, what, two, three trains per hour? Uh, so, you got plenty of time to read it, to be honest. Perhaps if it would be on Sosnowiec Główny or Łazy or Zawiercie, yeah, that, that would be probably harder to find some time to read manuals. Uh, but I don't think it would be too much of a challenge on, on Pilichowice. go green lights uh, we are flying through Białorawska probably our next stop is gonna be Opoczna Południa and we should get there in about half an hour So that's a very long, long route, chat. It is very, very long. I am actually delayed. Oh dear lord. It's raining, chat. It's raining. Oh, nice.
chat, it's actually raining in the game. Okay, uh, so... Cabin doesn't really change much when it comes to sounds. Uh, again, you can hear some sounds from the outside, but... It doesn't change how the engine sounds, and, and, and that feels a bit weird. Oh. Would probably help to jump to our first position first. I wonder if rain is affecting how easy it will be to get into wheel slip and how hard it will be to brake from high speeds. Uh, that would be a nice feature. Uh, I, I've never really had a chance to try that in uh, in playtests because we had only sunny weather. So that is completely new, having that rain. And it will be interesting to see if it will really have uh, some effects on how the locomotive will behave or how the train will behave in general. I see. So the quickest mode is, is the one uh, instead of three. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh. Okay, I, I don't need to go that fast. Uh, ZFX, uh, no, uh, playtest uh, ended yesterday at 5 p.m. Uh, so all you can do is to uninstall the playtest. And if you want to continue testing the game, uh, you can buy access to early access and, and basically buy the game. Uh, because you will get full game when it gets released after early access. Okay, it doesn't look like the wiper is doing much on, on, on the windshields, to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't really see any results of, of, uh, of this wiper wiping anything. <laughs> So the route will remain the same uh, as it is right now in early access. Uh, so you already got access to full route, uh, both Katowice Sanjishov and uh, Katowice Warsaw. Uh, there will be probably some reorganization when it comes to uh, signal boxes and, and dispatch boxes. Uh, currently, there is not a single box that is fully manual, uh, so you don't have one of those with, with the levers. And it was part of the trailer. Uh, the new stuff that will be also added uh, after full release uh, is going to be steam trains. Uh, that's what they are planning to work on. Uh, currently, you don't have uh, TY2 or, or whatever that was. Oh, the load. Uh, perhaps it would be nice to slow down.
There we go. Dear Lord. There we go. Uh, so yeah, no new routes will be added. Uh, you already got all of the routes. Uh, there will be one uh, additional locomotive, uh, which is a steam locomotive. Other than that, uh, you will see plenty of bug fixes, probably. Uh, some new dispatch boxes, perhaps. Uh, which is something that I'm looking forward to. And that's pretty much it. So most of the game is already in. And the developers just need to... fix some bugs. And make sure that the game works correctly. And I have to say that it works pretty good already. Also, another question is when the date in-game will keep changing, will the days become shorter? Because right now the game is set in June, uh, which is around the longest days possible. Uh, but it's in six months the date should progress to like December, January. And I wonder if nights will become longer and days shorter, if, if the game actually features that, uh, that would be cool to see. There we go. We just arrived at Strauki. We are one minute late. Oh dear lord. Yeah, it doesn't seem like this wiper is doing much. Uh, there's still plenty of drops on, on the window. I have to say that driving EU07 feels much more comfortable for me. Like I, I couldn't handle driving with Dragon, but EU07 seems to be working well for me. There we go. I think it's not raining anymore. Just need to use some washer. 
There we go. Now we can stop the wiper. I'm doing good, thank you very much for asking. And how are you? <laughs> oh dear lord. I'm gonna be getting that uh, penalties for wrong radio channel all the way up until Katowice. I, I, I'm quite sure of it. And the worst part is that there's nothing I can do because uh, obviously the entire route has wrong radio channel. Marius too, uh, they don't have a route for it, and that's probably the problem. Maybe at some point, uh, I, I also look forward to see EN57 or EN71, uh, that, that would be nice to see at one point, but obviously it needs to come with appropriate routes uh, for, for that train. And definitely... CMK is, is not a route where you want to send something as slow as EN57. To be honest, chat. By the time I'm gonna get to Zawiercie, is it? Nah, it's it's not long enough for anyone to dispatch for for that long to get permission for Zawiercie, is it? Uh, I think it requires six hours. Ah, so it's it's still gonna be AI. But before the midnight, we should start seeing first players uh, who are able to dispatch on Zawiercie. Okay, we should soon be arriving at Idzikowice and then we have one minute stop at Opoczno Południe. In theory, our radio channel should be fixed around Opoczno. Because that is the section of the tracks that was featured in Playtest and that's where radio channels seems to be working correctly is there a way to exceed 140 with this train uh, I mean physically the train could probably go that fast uh, but this locomotive is limited to 125 so that is the top speed that that you can legally travel at with this locomotive uh, but yeah if, if you are going downhill on absolutely full throttle uh, then you might actually get to 140 but i'm not sure how it's gonna work in game and uh, there we go we got more rain
nice uh, I'm gonna have to look into manuals uh, if there are any added into the game or on the forums and I definitely need to look at how to properly drive uh, ED250 and ET25 and then perhaps I, I could hop in uh, into one of the scenarios and, and maybe record a video or something Oh wow, it takes ages, isn't it, chat? That's a very, very long route. Obviously, it's a bit shorter when you drive with ED250. Oh, I see. Is there official stream right now? Uh, are they actually streaming? I haven't really looked at it uh, and I would expect them to, to do like a, a, a early access release stream but haven't really followed if if Simrail is actually streaming right now ah yes okay that would explain a lot So yeah, definitely there is going to be much more information on their stream. are starting to go a little bit too quick there we go okay very soon we should arrive at Ichikovice there we go not long now it should take us roughly around a minute maybe two so we still continue having delay uh, but we might be able to make it up between Opochno and Gura Vodowska. it seems to be much easier to, to make up some time in there rather than in here So how do I feel about the game? Uh, it really works great. I, I am very surprised to see how well it works. Uh, providing that now we have entire route. Like the game works very smooth on my end. I, I don't see any issues here. Uh, obviously I'm not sure how well it works when I'm streaming uh, at least for for all of you uh, hopefully there are no uh, no issues on on your end so yeah it, it's like I'm able to stream it I'm able to record it 
and except my avatar which is pretty much uh, yeah not not really catching up uh, on OBS uh, everything seems to be running quite smooth so I'm, I'm really happy with uh, with the results uh, I'm really happy with the performance absolutely amazing uh, graphics well nothing really changed since uh, playtest so I knew what I expected uh, I'm, I'm fully happy I'm fully happy there are a few bugs to to fix uh, obviously that radio channel uh, that I can't set up properly because the game doesn't really know which channel I'm supposed to be on uh, but that is just something from gameplay perspective I'm happy that they added uh, like a scoring for uh, railway crossings uh, that is definitely adding a lot of uh, a lot to the game and it looks like Ijikovica could be a nice post to this patch uh, there is plenty of tracks uh, yeah I, I, I think that would be a nice place to dispatch if, if it ever ever becomes available Uh, haven't we got new trees in uh, new release uh, speed trees I think there are some but I, I I don't really well I couldn't really notice which ones are there uh, but yes uh, they they announced that there will be new trees somewhere And also, I need to learn the timetable so that I know at what time this EC is supposed to start at Warsaw. So then you can predict at what time you are supposed to connect to the server to get a full route. And because obviously, right now we started, I uh, can't remember where, where we even started uh, this, uh, this particular run, uh, but we failed to have a look at Warsaw. And we still had like three hours on the clock to complete this scenario. Uh, so definitely EC is the longest ride you can have. It, it should probably take you around four hours to go all the way from Katowice to Warsaw or the other way. Uh, if you are driving EP07 of course. There we go. I am right on time. Or I should be keeping up. So, technically I should be arriving at Opochno in about 5 minutes. Nice, nice. Yes, uh, 32, well, nearly 33 gigabytes uh, download is, is a definitely large one. But I'm quite sure it was totally worth it to wait. go one before the last signal so we are actually arriving early to Opochno
PBL boy, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. I am doing great, and how are you? Okay, I believe the speed limit will be 60. So break a little bit harder. Yes, it is 60. Okay, I managed to slow down just on time. Two minutes ahead of time, I'll take it. Just a bit more. There we go. Perfect. That was good. That was good chat. Still got one minute to wait. <laughs> we can actually hear the passenger chatting. Oh. Okay, I, I'm on the wrong side. Why? Nice! Yes, they added environmental noises of, of the passenger chatting and, and stuff. That's nice. probably help to there we go now I can go there we go 
And also, I just got a message that Bolt is also streaming. Uh, I, I believe he will be streaming Simrail. You've passed your breakpoint. Are you joking me now? So some of the bugs still stays. Uh, I will probably need to turn on UI and correctly measure how long am I supposed to be stopped at the station. I am approaching the station. I am not approaching the station. Okay, definitely there are some issues. Uh, okay, that's 60. Let's see if that is fixed. Speed limit violation, okay. So once more, that is not fixed, chat. Because that entire track section should be limited to 60 and apparently the game thinks that it's 40. So again, they, they got the same bug that was present in playtests that some of the junctions have the wrong speeds so now that I slowed down to 40 yeah I'm no longer violating speed limits even though the speed limit should be 60 because that what was on the semaphore so once more the W21 sign was uh, ignored Oh well, we'll be fine. Okay, technically, channel 1 should now work. Because we went past the Pochno. But that is just a theory, and it might still not work. Well, it still doesn't work. Okay, thanks for joining in Railjet and good luck downloading uh, SimRail, it's, it's gonna take a while, uh, but I, I don't blame you for not sticking around, uh, just to get that extra kilobytes flowing. <laughs> Oh dear lord. Oh, that's a bad news. Okay. Chat. The indication on... On that signal told me... 
that I will be limited to 20 kilometers per hour on the next crossing because it was not closed Well, at least the cars are stopping. Oh dear lord, I, I, I won't be able to even slow down in time. Yeah. I definitely need to be more aggressive on brakes. I was supposed to drive at 20. And it's just now that I hit 20. And I already went past the crossing in question. can also turn off the wipers it's not raining anymore although I uh, what I might do is to turn on the wipers and get some washer to wash the bugs there we go nice and clean Okay, WR Productions, uh, depends what you consider late. Uh, the stream started two and a half hours ago, but I, I can't say that you are really late. Uh, I will still be going for probably an hour or two. So there is still plenty of content to watch. And even if you are late, uh, you can always watch the stream later when it gets published. Which is something that I will do uh, probably a day after the stream finishes. So stay tuned, uh, you can always come back and, and have a look at what you missed. Okay, so that crossing is gonna definitely uh, set me back a little bit. Uh, we are still on the wrong channel, but there's nothing I can do about it. Hopefully developers will get that fixed as soon as possible. Is it, it is a bit annoying to get notification about that every now and then. Uh, but I'm sure they will get there. Providing how quickly updates were coming out for playtests, uh, I'm expecting to, to probably see some updates within the next few days uh, to address some of the most immediate issues. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh yes, I, I'm sure of it. And, and they also launch their own forums, so that's where you should probably send the bug reports. Roblox, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today and have fun staying around. And have fun playing OMSI. Right chat, it's slowly getting dark in the game, uh, you can already see that the entire environment got a little bit more gloomy. 
And thanks to that, uh, light signals are becoming a little bit more visible, which is nice. Okay, there we go. We are at Pilichowice. And we are late. Which isn't ideal, uh, but by the time we reach Gura Wodowska, we should be alright. And we also have a long stop at Włoszczowa Północ. Uh, so that should set us back on correct schedule Theo, thank you very much for joining us and have fun playing. There we go. Oh yes, it definitely starts... Yeah, it is definitely starting to, to get darker. Which is nice, that's gonna create a nice mood for... for the game. By the time we get to Katowice, we should have like a proper dark environment oh yes uh, well very realistic it, it looks really nice I, I have to say that uh, it's really well done Although I, I wonder if they managed to uh, remove some uh, some of the bugs related to nighttime in Simrail. So if uh, if you remember, uh, there was that uh, red glare on on the front window in uh, in the cabin of uh, EP07 when when you are driving at night, especially when there are any light sources around. So if you are going next to street lights or or other stuff uh, there was that nasty red uh, reflection on the window uh, I, I wonder if if they actually removed that
we will see Hey, Benny Woods, I am driving on multiplayer right now. I am literally connected to the server. Uh, but obviously I am in the part of the route that might not see too much player traffic. How did I, un uh, how did I unlock it? Well, I completed uh, one of the tutorials. And after you complete it, you have to restart the game so that it loads multiplayer. So you literally have to turn off the game and start it again. Uh, try automatic radio switch setting. You know what? That might actually be a good idea. Uh, let me just go to settings. And there is a toggle free look. Now, uh, automatic radio setting. Apply. Back. Return to the game. Uh, let's see if, if that's going to help. But that would be so stupid. Like, we are on radio channel 2 right now. If that's going to solve the problem, that this uh, then this is really silly. Well, it seems like it resolved the problem for now. So yeah, I, I think developers just need to fix it and match it to the signs that are next to the track. Uh, because last time, uh, which was quite a while ago, uh, we went past uh, Radio 1 and technically on this part of the route we were supposed to be on Radio Channel 1. But apparently now game automatically switched me to Radio Channel 2 and that seems to work. And I don't get any more notifications about wrong channel. But again, it, it might be the, the effect of automatic radio channel, which is, uh, that's a bit silly, but hey. It's early access, so you have to expect some bugs. It's a bit of a shame that uh, this doesn't work correctly, and I will definitely play with it uh, in nearby future to to keep checking out if, if developers have fixed everything. Uh, but yes, automatic radio channel seems to be fixing the problem. Right chat, we are approaching Olszamowice. Nice. We are way ahead of time.
So the next stop is Warszawa Północ. Uh, we should be getting there in roughly around 20 minutes. And Boxcar, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's going really good and how are you doing? Oh, uh, what am I doing? I was supposed to do that. Dear Lord. Alright, chat, by the time we will get to Psari, uh, it should be properly dark. It's, yeah, it, it should be around like 10, 10.30 when, when it gets really dark in the game. You can actually already see the lights, uh, which is nice. Nice! What did you get? SD60. Mm, nice, nice. Alright chat, so uh, automatic radio change uh, definitely fixed the problem, I'm no longer getting penalties. Next will be a GP7, oh yes, that, that sounds really good. Can't remember how it looks like. Jack Williams, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. How are you doing? Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. I hope you will enjoy the game. Do you plan to buy it? Or haven't decided yet? Or perhaps just hopped in to, to have a chat? Whatever the reason is, I hope you will enjoy. If there's steam in the game, uh, I'm afraid they haven't added steam locomotive yet. There is a plan for it. And if I remember 
the model of the steam locomotive they are planning to add is gon it's gonna be ty2 is it yeah I, I think it's gonna be ty2 eboss uh well for a long part of the route it is just a double track section where you just smash it uh where things start to get complicated is around Zawiercie uh, where we will be in about an hour <laughs> because it's a very long route and things are starting to get complicated closer to Warsaw so right now we are roughly around the middle of the map and the middle of the route where you will just get two straight tracks yes <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say they are entirely flat, but yes, there is a lot of straight tracks in the middle uh, because it's supposed to be a high-speed route. So, the consist that I'm driving is rather sluggish for this route. Uh, and the tracks are built for speeds of 160 up to 200 kilometers per hour. Uh, but the the locomotive that I'm driving uh, can go only at 125 which is a weird choice from the developers to not include EP09 which can go at uh, up to 140 if I remember correctly uh, instead they decided to include EP07 which is a nice addition but it, it's a bit slow for that route Also, let's have a look how many players we got. Oh, th there are a few. Chat. Th there are a few players already. Just look at this. And we are approaching first players, is it? Uh, yeah, the nearest player from us is 13 kilometers away, is it? Yeah, and, and the rest of them are pretty far away. So we are getting closer to fun stuff, chat. Oh yeah, uh, but to my surprise, uh, I haven't heard anyone complain about uh, servers crashing and, and stuff. Like, obviously, yes, it's a train simulator, so like, it's not as popular as Battlefield and, and all that stuff. But still, it's like Simrail adds so much new to simulators that I actually expected that servers will have a hard time today but so far everything goes smooth like I, I had absolutely no issues today and it's, it's the smoothest release day I've seen so far like I've seen AAA productions like completely crashing on day one like being absolutely useless uh, but Simrail seems to be doing fine like yes I know there are plenty of players that are still downloading the game there are plenty of players that are still trying to connect or complete the uh, tutorial mission and, and unlock the multiplayer which is not happening instantly as it should so definitely that's one of the bug, uh, bugs that developers will need to address and fix. Although it's going to be hard for them to test it. Because the more players will complete the tutorial and unlock multiplayer, the less players there will be to test if 
any potential fix is working uh, unless they're they're gonna add uh, a way to, to like reset your account uh, I'm also looking forward to see if they're gonna add tutorials for ET25 and most importantly ED250 because um, I, I believe that ED250 requires some proper tutorial to teach you how to operate this machine and in this particular unit uh, I, I don't have any issues driving EU07 which should be more complicated than ED250 but hey here we are uh, like I, I completely failed to drive uh, Pendolino but I wish to try it the other day uh, it's definitely interesting experience and on that particular stretch of route uh, we would be driving at 160 up to 200 kilometers per hour uh, rather than go slow at 120 uh, which has its own like a uh, charm uh, but obviously everyone would like to see the speed isn't it <laughs> so hopefully one day I will be able to show you the speed I also need to learn how to use ED uh, ET25 and, and and like drive the dragon in a correct way because uh, it it feels like a fun locomotive to drive uh, but for now it's it's definitely not for me Right, chat. Very soon we should be approaching Vosova Północ. We are ahead of time. So we will have a very, very long passenger stop in there. And hopefully this time the game won't surprise me with some notification that I don't expect. Really? Oh, nice, nice. I, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, so does it have any automatic system that, uh, like, that acts kind of similar to, LZ to German LZB? Uh, or do you actually have to drive it? Because uh, obviously... I've never managed to, to drive Pendolino in any simulator. Uh, I, I think there was like one. Uh, simulator that featured uh, ED250 uh, yes uh, Vosova Północ is probably dispatched by a player if I remember correctly uh, wait let me just have a quick yes uh, there is a player on Vosova Północ We got a red signal chat.
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There we go, we got substitute signal. I don't think L well LZB shouldn't be doing anything, uh because we got only ETCS uh I think level one on on that route. Uh but I don't really know how it works. <laughs> uh, because obviously I, I I've never really studied that. Uh, because Simrail is the first game that actually features that, uh, so I, I don't really know how it works. Please tell me I wasn't misrouted. Uh, I, I have a feeling that uh, the guy might have routed me incorrectly. Oh, okay, okay. Junction is set correctly. So he just doesn't know how to issue proper signal. Which tells me that my departure might be heavily delayed. Dear. Well, one mistake that he made is that he issued me exit signal already. So I hope that AI won't take over. Uh, because we will be stuck on, on that station until 9.52. So that is solid. 13 minutes. Let's go closer to W4. Alright chat, and now we are chilling. Lots of trains waiting in Warsaw direction when... Huh. Uh, it might be because the guy is letting every train at a speed of 40 while the station has much higher speeds on top of that he misrouted uh, the train right next to me uh, because 
this one should definitely stop at the platform. Uh, so if he would be routing the trains correctly, then probably he would be able to succeed. Right, anyway, uh, I can jump off. Yeah, so, so now... 1441 waiting for signal to change at Vostrova forward north. Over. 1441. So there's a train waiting behind me. And because the guy gave me exit signal, uh, he won't be able to route 1441. Right, let me jump into my locomotive. Ah, there we go. Just shut off my signal, which is good. So I think the guy realized that, okay, there is a problem. And he was trying to route me ahead of uh, express train. Even though I'm going to be chilling here for next 10 minutes. So now, if he's doing everything correctly, there should be express train passing next to me. Hello? Well, he is definitely trying, uh, because my signal is now red. Nice, nice. So if you have to manually drive it, or more or less manually drive it, so that's good. Uh, obviously, ETCS is supposed to, uh, well, stop the train if you are going uh, above the speed limit. Uh, I, I think that's how it works. So if if you are approaching speed limit, uh, I, I think when the system detects, okay, at this point you are supposed to do 160 and you are doing 170, it should slow you down automatically, uh, but I, I don't really know how exactly that works. So yeah, that sounds good. Uh, on top of that, chat, I, I have a feeling I'm going to be really delayed here. Uh, if, if the guy at Warsawa doesn't know how to operate the station, uh, there are only two options. Either he will disconnect and AI will take over and fix the problem for him or he will figure out how to properly route trains and he will route that 1441 uh, that is waiting behind me or he will wait for me for departure which is in seven minutes speaking of my departure chat I'm gonna take a very very quick break so stay tuned
All right, all right, all right, chat. I am back. So, uh, did uh, dispatcher at Warsaw manage to wait, 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 wait. Chat, did, did you actually hear that? That was some proper stuff. That was station announcement. We, we could actually hear one. <laughs> nice one really nice although I am now stuck at the signal and uh, just as I expected because dispatcher at Voschava Punot doesn't really seem to be too efficient uh, at operating his post I am now stuck. And I'm not sure if there's going to be a train uh, coming in or not. They announce if you're late. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, I'm afraid I am stopped at the moment and, and it doesn't really look like I'm gonna progress anywhere. I am already late. Uh, Demons, I am on EN9 server. Uh, go to Warsaw, it's amazing. Hmm. I will definitely check it out. But I would first like to finish this route, if possible. But uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna finish it. And there is a pendolino behind you. I know, but for some reason... Oh, okay. Uh, for some reason that pendolino is not going anywhere. So, I look forward to see if I'm gonna get exit signal. If I do, I can just progress. Uh, and from what I can see... <laughs> our trains are always late. Hey, same, same applies to Poland. Like, well, uh, late. In Poland, if, if the train is 30 minutes behind the schedule, it's not even a delay. Uh, you, you don't even count it as, as such. It's just a minor inconvenience. Up to three hours, that, that might be a delay. And like, yeah. Uh, anything past that, as soon as the train arrives, yeah, it, 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 you can count it as a success. So I, I can't really comment too much about, about trains in Poland. <laughs> Right, chat, am I gonna get exit signal?
14139 to Wostrzowa Północ. Can I get exit signal, please? Uh, let's see if that's gonna work. Well, the dispatcher here seems to not be really able to properly operate his station. As long as I can get at least substitute signal to exit, uh, I'll be fine. Well, unfortunately, that is uh, probably the only problem with uh, Simrail at the moment. If if the dispatcher is is not really efficient at, at operating his post, uh, then we either have to wait for uh, for him to disconnect so that AI can take over and fix the situation. Uh, but that's also not guaranteed, um, because AI may also fail, uh, so if there's delays, there's going to be delays, and, and <laughs> all we can do is wait. Ah, there we go. Well, I'm quite sure that this Pendolino driver won't be happy about what is happening right now. Uh, see, uh, that's the problem about uh, tutorial uh, for dispatchers. Uh, since there is no single player dispatching, players have to learn in multiplayer and that is a problem. Uh, obviously there are dispatchers only server where uh, there are no player drivers so there's no one to be annoyed at you if, if you mess up or if you cause massive like a disruption nothing bad will happen. Uh, but again there's probably like one or two of such servers. Oh. Uh. I, I am already driving past 60, do I? Yeah. I, I forgot that I, I'm not supposed to speed up so soon. Oh well, I, I will get a couple of speed limit violations. It should end really soon. Oh, come on! Oh, I need to carry on all the way until here. Oh, dear lord. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna get so many penalties. There we go. Okay, and I also don't like what I'm seeing in front of me. Because... That blinking signal means there is a train ahead. Yes, I am aware that I received departure uh, ahead of 
1343, which is not entirely correct, uh, but I think Knapówka is going to try and fix that situation, uh, because 1343 should overtake me. And I'm so late, chat. I am so late. Uh, yes, uh, Pendolino is higher priority train and therefore it should go ahead of me. Uh, on top of that, it's faster, so uh, nothing bad will happen if he will overtake me. But if I am going ahead, I am slowing him down because I am traveling at 120 km per hour while Pendolino is moving at 160 up to 200. So that speed difference is making Pendolino a little bit higher priority. No, oh, okay. So there is probably a player at Knapówka. He's not really... Oh, there we go. I got a good... Well, I got a green signal now. But I'm going on to a siding, from what I can see. Do I? Uh, I might not actually be going on a siding, uh, which is a problem. Okay, I'm five minutes late. As soon as I can confirm what is my next signal, I will speed up or slow down. There's no need to rush if, if the next signal is expected to be red. And I believe he might keep me on red, expecting that this pendolino behind me will just overtake me on the left track, uh, which makes very little sense to be honest. Okay, it doesn't seem like there is... ...any red signal in front of me. Right, and I got five minutes delay, which is a problem. Because now I will have to make up for that lost time before I get to Zawiercie. Okay, now I got green signal. So I can just fly it. So the next chance for uh, 1343 to overtake me is going to be at Psary. If there is a competent, uh, competent player uh, he should notice that uh, express train is following uh, fast passenger train 
and he should send me on a siding. Let the express train pass, and then send me behind it. we go I think we will be held up sorry The question is for how long? Oh, never mind. We are not stopping at Psari. So another chance is Gura Vodowska. If not, then the swap might happen at Zawiercia. Question is, am I gonna get there on time? Pendolino is one block behind me. So, that is a mistake on dispatcher's part. Uh, he should not send me ahead of Pendolino. Uh, if there is a free track and there should be at Psary, uh, because there should be two sidings somewhere here, uh, then I should be sent onto a siding and Pendolino should be sent ahead of me. But obviously that didn't happen. So now Pendolino will have to survive my slow speed of 120. Actually, uh, just to help resolve the situation, I might ask Gura Vodowska to send me on a siding and let the train behind me pass, uh, because it, it makes ab absolutely no sense to, to carry on uh, like that.
So yeah, chat, if you will ever be dispatching on any of these stations, you need to pay attention to what category of the train you are letting through at what time. Uh, because the whole point of these uh, signal boxes along this way, uh, so Knapówka, uh, Psary, Pilichowice uh, and Góra Wodowska, is to make sure that express trains can overtake uh, slower trains like mine so if you see that there is EC followed by uh, Express Intercity you have to send EC to the siding stop him and send uh, Express ahead Oh yeah, uh, the whole route with Pendolino should take you about 3 hours, uh, so with my train it should take about 4, 4.5, uh, so that is super long, that's like nearly 350 kilometers if I remember correctly, so there's definitely plenty of tracks to play on. They still need to fix car traffic a little bit. Uh, some of the cars are standing in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the route. And Vuem Jakava, thank you very much for subscription. Welcome to the channel, and I hope you will have a great time. Uh, yes, there is no save function for single player. You just have to go through entire route. Okay, so we got a proper night time right now. Well, proper. It, it's still not as dark as it should be. It's, it seems like a very bright night, uh, but I have to say Simrail looks really good at night.
right, it should take another 10 minutes uh, to get to Gura Vodowska. If I remember correctly. And I hope there is a competent player there. And he will properly route the trains. But one can only hope. on that very short section of the track that is going actually downhill uh, rather than uphill which is quite common when you are approaching Gura Vodowska Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, like the fact that this patcher can make mistakes and uh, you may get delays that you don't really have control over is adding extra spice to this game. Because right now, obviously, the better I drive and the better other dispatcher will do their job, uh, the better chances are that I will eventually arrive at Katowice uh, on time. I will probably be late at Zawiercie, there is no chance for me to, to physically get there uh, because this train just can't go that fast. Uh, on top of that, uh, the fact that I am limited to 120 uh, means that the train behind me, which is Pendolino, uh, has to slow down to my pace, so he is catching delays just because there is a dispatcher that doesn't really know what to do. Uh, for some players, yes, uh, obviously it is not correct, but people learn and that's why we are playing simulators to, to learn. Uh, so as people will get better, uh, especially at dispatching and prioritizing trains, uh, over time we will see that Pendolino is gone. Oh, so did the player logged off or, or was the Pendolino held at the signal? I wouldn't be surprised if the player just gone, uh, because like... I see, I see. Well, obviously since I'm driving, uh, I, I'm not observing how my progression looks on the map and uh, where am I in in relation to other players. Well, I can technically track it uh, partially uh, by checking out uh, the player table. And there is quite a lot of players, to be honest. The nearest one is at Gura Vodowska, about 15 kilometers away. Uh, then there is a 3142, which is going uh, in my direction. There's still a player driving 1343 but he's still stuck at Gura Vodowska from what I can see which is pretty bad
anyway, chat. Hopefully we are lucky. And I will soon be able to just fly through Gura Wodowska and hopefully make up enough time to arrive at Zawiercie close to my scheduled time. I don't expect too many issues at Zawiercie because that's going to be AI dispatcher. Uh, there's going to be AI dispatcher at Wazy uh, because no one could physically dispatch for long enough to be able to take control over those. Uh, so the nearest station where any issues may occur is Dombrowa Gurnicza, Benjin and Katowice Zawodzie. Th those three stations can cause some problems. I don't expect anyone else to, to cause any issues on my route. Well, eventually it it might be a player that doesn't really know how to drive and, and yes, uh, technically that player can block entire traffic on, on a specific route, but I, I don't think that will happen. Also, let's see who else is on, on this servo keyboard. Uh, there is quite a few people, to be honest. There's quite a lot of people. And the server is still nowhere near full, uh, so as soon as players will realize that they need to restart the game to get into multiplayer, I, I think the servers will be rammed. Okay, we are definitely at least one minute late for Gura Wodowska, um, and by the looks of it, yeah, we are nowhere near that. Um, four minutes according to last checkpoint, um, I, I think we will be three to four minutes late at, at Gura Wodowska. Which isn't too bad, uh, we can try and make up some of that time uh, later on the route. Obviously it will be much harder past Zawiercie, uh, because everyone... Well, that route is generally busy, so the traffic is a little bit sluggish there, and I am more likely to catch even bigger delay rather than decrease it. But if I'm lucky and if the players are rather smooth on, on their dispatching duties, I might be able to slip through. Okay, I, I already don't like what I'm seeing.
yeah, I don't like it. Ah, there we go. Nicely done. Three minutes late. There we go. So now we are flying to Zawiercie. If I'm gonna keep my speed, I should arrive just on time. That is if there's going to be no other issues. Come back quick. Uh, it's it's quite easy to, to make up some time on this part of the route. Uh, as long as you keep your train at the very speed limit, uh, you should be all right. Uh, but the difficulty is that the tracks are going up and down so sometimes you are climbing uphill sometimes you are go uh, descending and you have to control your speed to stay within the speed limits uh, so if you don't pay close attention to how your speed is changing and don't react uh, quickly enough you will either go above the speed limit which will gain you a lot of penalty points or you will be driving at 110, 115, uh, which means that you are not really gaining any time and you need to be gaining time uh, to, to go ahead, ideally, and arrive to Zawiercie slightly ahead of the schedule or to be more or less on time uh, at Gura Wodowska. Uh, and this way you can stay on your schedule more or less uh, you will start losing time at Wazy uh, perhaps uh, Dombrowa Gornicza those are places where you will start losing time uh, Benjin uh, that's where you can lose a lot of time uh, and eventually Sosnowiec uh, which may stop you for a while Okay, so now we will be joining the other main line. Very soon the tracks will turn left. Uh, we will go above another route uh, that is double tracked and then we will join on, on track number four. So there we go, we are now turning left. Uh, we are approaching speed limit restriction to 160 km per hour, so that doesn't really affect us. It should probably start at the bridge. So it's 
more important for Pendolino uh, rather than for me. There we go, that's the bridge. And we are now passing above another railway line. And how did you find it, James? Uh, did you enjoy the game? Uh, how does it run on, on your machine? Uh, it definitely looks different uh, from from what I'm playing right now, uh, because if I remember the demo, it it had some different features and it actually ran worse than than the full game. So, so if the demo ran all right on your machine, then the full version should should be much much better. Okay, so it is confirmed I'm gonna be late at Zawiercie. There is no chance I'm gonna get there in a minute. And there is another train running behind me. Question is which one of us uh, Zawiercie will let in. Uh, Marius too. I'm not even gonna be passing through Częstochowa. Okay, it looks like I'm not gonna get entry to Zawiercie. But route definitely became much busier right now. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna get entry to Zawiercie. question is on which track that green light uh, doesn't really look as it should is it uh, okay so it's not a green light it's, it's something else or is it oh okay okay hundreds kilometer per hour speed limit uh, Dwarf Throwing, thank you very much for follow. Welcome to the channel and I hope you will enjoy your stay. Okay, uh, 
It looks like they actually fixed uh, Zawiercie, which is uh, a nice touch uh, in playtests. Uh, all the signs were blank when you arrived uh, to Zawiercie from, from the direction that I'm traveling right now. So it's nice to see that uh, this has improved. Okay, I am now arriving at the platform. Can I crash the train into others? Uh, so, if by any chance my train would end up on the same track as another train, then technically, yes, we can crash. Uh, but I don't think there is a possibility right now to route the train in such way. Uh, I, I think that was disabled by developers. Another nice screenshot. So, at Zawiercie, uh, I think uh, AI is still a dispatcher, uh, but on other stations, uh, there's just a player that has, well, that player is literally sitting in one place uh, and he is managing all the junctions and signals at the station and he, his job is to make sure that traffic flows smoothly through, through the station. So same as in, in real life, uh, there is someone who is basically setting all those junctions and, and signals uh, to, to allow trains to go. And that's how this patcher works.
Okay, we are technically four minutes late. Uh, I think we can try and make up some time if if we will be able to keep our speed uh, through Wazoo. And, and there shouldn't be too many issues because it's being dispatched by AI. So as I mentioned before, the nearest dispatcher that I'm expecting to see should be at Dombrova Gornica. So, okay, now I got five minutes delay. Uh, it's not too bad. It's manageable. Nice, nice. Well, I'm currently trying to complete like a four hour route uh, myself. Well, it, it was supposed to be three hours, but I, I think it's gonna be closer to four when I finish. Yes, uh, so basically entire route is uh, in a scale of one to one, so... It's a very long route. Okay, is there a red signal in front of me? Or has it changed? Okay, so it's not a red signal. It's a substitute signal. I'm glad that, uh, that it's night, uh, because during daytime I wouldn't be able to spot that substitute signal and, and slow down on time. forgot that this is like a automatic block signal oh
out the bars. Uh, Jessica team, I know that, uh, but the problem with this slider is that it looks very unrealistic during the daytime uh, when you see the signal from like a kilometer or two. Uh, even the standard settings uh, are enhancing the signal visibility a little bit. And every now and then the game can render that signal uh, from much further distance than you would normally see it. So drivers would normally rely on uh, on the indication of the previous signal which they could see. Uh, so when you are passing a yellow signal you are supposed to slow down until you can visually confirm that the next signal is displaying something else than S1. Uh, the problem is that during daytime those signals are not super bright and, and and often you have to literally stop in front of the signal uh, at like a appropriate distance to notice that oh okay the signal is showing something else and, and then you release the brakes and then carry on and and that's the difficulty of uh, of driving during daytime uh, like if you see any uh, cab views or uh, videos from from polish railways you will probably notice that those signals are not really that much visible and then on the screen even if you are watching it full screen uh, you will see the signal from a very short distance so it is totally real uh, realistic that during daytime you can barely see the signals while at the same time at night uh, the signal visibility greatly increases and, and, and that's the thing Yeah, right now I will be very, very slow and I'm gonna get tons of delays. Uh, AI really played me here on, on Wazi. Got that one in a million chance that AI will do something stupid and AI did something stupid. <laughs> and now I have to carry on until next uh, automatic block signal to be able to speed up to reasonable pace which also means that I will end this route like 20 minutes late Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Where is that next signal? See you next time. Thank you very much for joining me tonight and uh, have a good sleep, Jessica. Oh dear lord, chat. Oh, I, I really hate to get substitute signal at the exit. <laughs> oh dear lord. Come on, where is that semaphore?
Well, I don't think it was a player because uh, to get to Wazi, uh, you need to be dispatching for like six hours, if I remember correctly. And the game was released just five hours ago. Uh, so it was definitely AI that played a really nasty one on me. Ah, but as they say, I, I can already see the light at the end of the tunnel, uh, providing that, that we are not moving in the tunnel, but hey. We are getting there, chat. We are getting there. Okay, just 200 meters, Chad. Only 200 meters. Even less, to be honest. Oh yeah, that was just 100 meters. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. And off we go. There we go. Back to normal pace. Now we got proper night, chat. 
That is a proper night. Well, definitely I need to work on my speed control chat. Uh, there were so many speed limit violations during this run. There we go. Twelve minutes delay. Oh, the Lord, chat. Twelve minutes is a long, long time. There we go. Slightly late, uh, but we should be able to get to Dombrova Gunsha pretty soon. Oh, there we go, Dombrova Gornica failed to close the crossing. Or that signal is just broken, I don't know which one is true.
there we go and once more we have to slow down to 20 kilometers per hour not super happy about it but it is what it is chat it is what it is rules are rules At least I know that crossing is now working. Sadly, it wasn't working when it was supposed to work. There we go, chat. Nice and smooth. Okay, that's that looks like almost perfect stop. Uh, obviously, I was supposed to stop a little bit further down the platform, but hey, it is what it is. I think I still did a good job.
There we go, chat. Next stop, Sosnowiec Główny. So we are just flying through Benjin, hopefully. Ooh, that was close. Oh yes, indeed. Uh, night time in this game is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so far so good. I hope there won't be any issues. There will be. Looks like I might not get entry to Benjin. Fourteen one three nine uh, to Benjin. Any chance I can get entry? Sorry, a bit uh, busy here. Uh, what are you again? Fourteen one three nine.
There we go. Okay, so uh, the next potential issues uh, Katowice Zawodzie, I believe. Although Sosnowiec główny, I, I'm not sure someone might be uh, on it already. Oh dear lord. Yeah, I, I think that station requires only four hours, so. Players can technically join in by now. go we got entry okay let's not go too fast I need to stop in here so there's definitely a player That should be Sosnowiec Główny, is it? Yes, indeed. Okay, this is gonna be a very long platform. There we go. Whew, just, this is a long route, isn't it? Uh, the Greek Zeus, uh, if you are asking about the game, yes, the game is absolutely amazing. The game is phenomenal. Right, time to depart.
sorry machine uh, uh, the game is is all right radio filter is probably next patch oh so it's nice to hear that it's gonna work uh, because yeah uh, today like setting radio to to manual uh, always ends up in being in wrong channel even though the channel is set as uh, as the signal indication but surprisingly when I set it to automatic it fixed the problem uh, but again the game is in early access and there is a reason for it and obviously if it's not ready then it's better to release it in early access than uh, say that it's full game if it isn't so I'm perfectly fine with this. <laughs> nah, I'm not complaining. I look forward to the full routes in uh, AC. Too bad there is no single player scenario for that. Uh, there is only... Is it? Or maybe there is. Uh, oh, there is a single player scenario for uh, Euro City. So I, I might actually do it and, and go all the way from Warsaw uh, to Katowice or from Katowice to Warsaw. They are not too bad, uh, but we could definitely use a tutorial scenario for ET25 Dragon and for uh, Pendolino uh, because like, I have no clue how to operate those things. So definitely some tutorial here would be appreciated. Okay, so that is Katowice Zawodzie. I could be going a little bit quicker. Oh, there wasn't any approach signals for my stations, so I, I, I haven't talked about them. Uh, so, 
basically the the reason why I slowed down was that I was expecting to be arriving at Katowice where there is three speed limits uh, there is 70 which I'm now approaching and I am doing 70 and that should be followed by 40 uh, close to the station itself that's why I was slowing down uh, to be honest I got a little bit lost and and I forgot that there is Katowice Zawodzie which has 90 km per hour speed limit so I went past 90 and I started to slow down further to 70 and to 40 which is further down the road But when it comes to signals and signs, uh, yeah, I will try to mention that a little bit more often. So right now that signal, for example, was telling me that I am approaching 40 km speed limit at the next semaphore. And 40 is how much I'm doing right now, so I don't really need to take any further action. The track speed limit now will be 70 and if I remember correctly approach to the station there should be 40 km speed limit right at this board that I'm passing right now. There we go. There we go, and that's a semaphore that's saying 40 and next signal will be stop. So you got two orange lights, one above another, solid lights. If the top one would be blinking, that means that the next semaphore would also indicate speed limit of 40. Although they were both solid which means that the next semaphore is stopped. There we go, chat. That is Katowice. There are still some issues with the number of lights. That's why we get some black squares on the screen. At the distance, there's not much that we can do about them. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh yes it is, uh, Katowice is really nice after it was renovated, uh, I still remember uh, 
well, I, I used to live near Katowice, uh, uh, so I still remember how it used to look like uh, about, I don't know, uh, 20 years ago, and before it was renovated and before it looks like as it is now in the game. Uh, wow, it, it, it was really, really rough. <laughs> Right, I, I think we've been here long enough. <laughs> well, yeah, same as many stations in Poland, in fact. Uh, I'm not sure if Kraków uh, improved on that matter, but uh, honestly, even after it was renovated, like, Kraków Główny is, is, like, at night you better not go into, like, underground passage because it's unbearable like the smell in there was unbearable last time I've been there so uh, so many homeless and drunk people in in the underground of uh, Krakow Główny I, I'm not sure if that improved by now or not uh, but yeah it, it was really sad and, and like grim sight I wonder if we will ever get route extension towards Gliwice and and these regions. That would be nice. And there we go chat, that is the end of the route. So today, I driven 269 kilometers on that route. So it wasn't even full route. Uh, I, uh, uh, where did I start it? Uh, uh, I started around Białorawska, if I remember correctly. And it was Szeligi Białorawska, uh, somewhere in, in that area. So. That was a really, really nice route, chat. Three and a half hours, solid three and a half hours, and that's not even full route. Uh, if I remember correctly, the full route should be around 320, 350 kilometers long. So there is much, much more than what we've managed to see today. Uh, I would love to see timetables, both for uh, Warsaw, uh, especially Central Warsaw, when those trains are departing or whatever. Uh, I, I'm not sure where the route starts exactly. Is it Warsaw Central or uh, Warsaw West? Uh, if it's Warsaw West, then it would be nice to get timetables when those trains are showing up on the map. Uh, same goes to Katowice. And this way I could literally catch uh, a multiplayer session starting on one end uh, of the route and finishing on the other just to get that full experience uh, I managed to catch it in uh, 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 what was it uh, in a playtest uh, so I knew roughly at what time uh, Euro cities are arriving to Katowice and, and head to, to Opocno uh, but now I will have to chase it down from the other end uh, for uh, trains heading from Warsaw to, to Katowice and perhaps one day I will be able to show you full recorded route for Eurocity train all the way from beginning of the route 
to the end in multiplayer. That would be nice, but that would be like four hour long video. I, I believe that, yeah, it would be like four hour long. So who knows, chat, who knows? I might find some time and, and record it, uh, but it would be nice to, to get a hold of, of the timetable so that I know exactly at what time I should aim to log into the game, jump into the train that I want and get that full experience. Uh, because otherwise, like trying to catch Euro City that shows up somewhere on the map at a specific time, uh, that takes ages, chat. Right? Like trying to find one specific train is, is really difficult. Uh, but I'm gonna get there. Right, let's have a look at the graph. It's gonna be so red in here. Oh dear lord. Okay, it's not too bad, chat. It's not too bad. I expected that to look worse. Uh, obviously, ET25 was absolutely disastrous. Uh, but apart from that, I, I think we did quite well. I got some speed limit violations. Uh, obviously, I gained 1030 points in negative just for driving with the wrong radio channel. And, and that needs to be addressed uh, because I remember shortly, at, uh, shortly before I got this first penalty, I've been passing a radio channel board that said Radio 1. And then I couldn't find the correct radio. Uh, and it kept on going until I finally switched radio in the settings to, to be automatic. Uh, just when somebody pointed it out, yeah, let's let's set the radio to automatic and maybe that will fix the problem. And indeed, it fixes the problem, but it takes away all that immersion that the game is going to give you. Because I'd love to be punished for having the wrong radio channel, but I would love to not be punished when I set it correctly. <laughs> so yeah, there is definitely quite a lot of uh, places to fix whenever there is that sign for radio channel change the game should properly expect the player to be on that specific cha uh, channel uh, so whenever there is a board saying radio one uh, player should be required to be on first channel of the radio uh, whenever there is radio two second channel should apply uh, so yeah uh, i look forward to see those fixes and eventually that will improve the immersion uh, I love that uh, there is that attention to the details that every time we are passing uh, railway crossing uh, sign or, or like a, a sound signal board or whistle board, we have to sound that signal and then we can get penalty points if we don't or we get 50 points if, if we do. That adds to that uh, experience and, and requirements that I've been looking for, uh, especially before the game was released. Uh, so yeah, uh, I look forward to, to see a very, very detailed scoring system that will actually uh, reward players with very good scores for runs that were completed in a good, solid uh, manner uh, with, uh, with respect to traffic rules. Uh, so that's definitely nice part of the game to see very detailed scoring system. Uh, that reflects uh, good driving practices. Um, right, chat, that, that was an amazing experience. I, I, wow, that was solid five hours and I didn't even notice how quickly it went. Uh, so yeah, chat, that was my first experience with uh, early access to uh, SimRail. I hope you enjoyed it same as I did. Uh, I will definitely be looking through some documentation to learn how to drive that Pendolino. Uh, I will have a look at some documentation re in regards to ET25 and perhaps learn how to drive this one as well. And then I hope to catch you in on a virtual railway and, and drive along uh, or perhaps dispatch along. Uh, I, I will definitely try and hop into some sessions here and there. So you may catch me on the servers. Uh, you may also catch me when I'm live next time. Uh, we will probably be streaming SimRail again. Uh, perhaps next time I will try to do some dispatching sessions so and so people can see how uh, the game looks from that perspective. 
Uh, although if you are curious how this patching looks like, you can uh, also watch my previous streams. Uh, if you are watching this after the stream ended, I will probably try to link them in top right corner of the screen. So, so they should pop up around that time and, and you should be able to see uh, the playlist with, uh, with Simrail. Uh, other than that, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for joining me in such a large numbers chat. Uh, that's probably the biggest stream I've ever had. Uh, 27 people watching according to my metrics at the moment uh, across both platforms because I'm streaming both to Twitch and, and YouTube. So thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you very much for all that attention. Uh, if, if you haven't followed me on Twitch or subscribed me on YouTube, uh, that's that's a good time to do uh, if if you liked what you've seen and yeah uh, if you really enjoyed my content you might also want to support my channel a little bit more uh, at least for youtube audience and you can join a uh, crew member and get some juicy benefits uh, along with some uh, emotes that you can use on youtube chat uh, the full details of the offer uh, will be found when you press uh, that join button right thank you very much and i hope to catch you next time bye bye